are pumped up for this one. This rivalry series dates back to 1898. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Pickering is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. And he'll return this one from the seven. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Colorado's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the cause. Well, it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. From their own 30-yard line, second down. And they make the stop at the 31-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and six. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. And down he goes around the 43-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 43. Fires it out. Tackle at about the 49. Perry makes the tackle. flag came from the umpire and that means this is probably holding they'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty well here you're in a third down situation and then someone makes a mental mistake it makes your blood boil if you're a coach third down nine to go ball on the 42 yard line made at the 41. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From the 41-yard line, first down. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Ball start, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at the 28. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And this is the eighth play of the drive. two-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line.
Touchdown, Buffaloes. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice nine-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Let's go, let's go. Easy, easy, Completes it across the middle, and he's taken down at the 42-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. After a decent pickup. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him second and five. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it third and one. Let's go, let's go. Easy, easy, easy. And he's tackled at the 45. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Yeah. Caught open field. He's taken down at the 30. Miller with the tackle at the 30-yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. The five. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled in the open field. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. Will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. We get a tie game at 7-7, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. They'll bring him down at the 27. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And they hit him in the backfield. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. From their own 22-yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to be sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play.
So the sack makes this third and very long. He airs it out. And it's intercepted by the senior cornerback. And he hits him hard at the 38-yard line. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw. And that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. He's scrambling. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, we're even at seven in this one. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. He's gobbled up in the backfield. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. They're about four yards away here on third down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's wow. check out the penalty. Clipping. Offense. Offense. They'll give this one another try Still after the flag. Down. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. From their own 43-yard line, it's third down. Quick out to his receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 47. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Stanley is the deep man awaiting the return. He's taken down at the 14. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Makes it to the 27. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. And down he goes at about the 33 yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. And they got him. You know, the offensive line really let the quarterback down there. They've got to do a better job of communicating against the blitz. One thing to pick up a blitz, but you also have to obviously pick up your defensive lineman. That time, a miscommunication, and the result is a sack. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 32. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. Tackle right around the 12-yard line. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route. But regardless, still great play by the defense. From the 12-yard line, first down. They try the right side, and he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Touchdown, Nebraska! Running 
the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Broussard from the five. Tackle made at the 20-yard line. The Buffaloes struggling trying to get their star wide receiver in this game. And sometimes, you know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line. Get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hand somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play. One touch could get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Give credit to a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan, but now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. They're about four yards away here on second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That'll bring up third and eight. Roger, Roger. In the shotgun and five wide out. Tackle made at the 32. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32 yard line. Fights forward to about the 33. No, gets about a yard on the play. Colorado will take their first time out of the half. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And it's the senior. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. So we're looking at another third down here. He's at midfield. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. it to the outside and he's immediately tackled from the 24 yard line first down Backs got it on the quick throw. Gets past the tackler. Here he goes. He gets hit out of bounds at about the seven yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. And he just gets rid of it. The defense has really held their own the last two plays. Now it's third and goal from the seven.
Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. him out at about the 31. So we played two quarters. 14 apiece. Hi everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Tied at the half, each team's move has been countered by the other. So far, nobody's been able to establish checkmate or really even generate much momentum. So what is each team, what's the most important thing for the second half for one team to gain an edge in this game? Well, it seems like there has been an answer, and at some point, you know, you just got to get your offense and defense both working together. You know, when you do score, how about you get a stop so you can get your offense back and continue to add to the lead? And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes, you know, the, the game swings and it goes one way and you can't stop it, and then it comes back the other way. So I think maybe it's a special teams play. You know, maybe it's something off the radar that, that you're used to. Maybe a big punt return, a blocked punt, but... So far, the offenses and defenses seem even. Maybe you can get an edge on the special teams. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Fred and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 27. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Got hit and still completed it. The quarterback really kept his poise under pressure and delivered a pretty nice little ball right there. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of seven on the play. That makes it first and ten. Here we go! They'll bring him down at the 42. And they get nice yardage on that run. Down right around the 42 yard line. Rose left, the running back's got it, and he's taken down at the 39. Blackman on the tackle at the 39 yard line. That'll make it 
second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Scrambling around. Diving for extra yardage. Taken down at the 31-yard line. Gain one yard. First hey, down. Hey, watch the ball. 31 to Mike. Fred right there. Easy, easy, easy. easy. Hey. Fuck He's hit and got away. He makes it to the 28-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Stop in his tracks with that tackle. Here's the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 25 yard line. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Nebraska could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 17-14, Nebraska. Pickering has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nixon has it at the 5, and he's tackled at the 31. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires it quickly. And it's caught. To the 20. To the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. And he tacks on the extra point. It looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 28. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Hit immediately. That makes it first and ten. And he's tackled around the 42 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Pass man open and he dropped it. Third down now, they need to get it out to midfield. He's tackled at the 47 yard line. First down. 
And they make the stop at the 33. A little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. False start. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He makes it to the 38-yard line. That makes it third and 15. Throws in a hurry. What a pick! Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. from their own 27-yard line. It's first down. Colorado holds a four-point lead. They'll work the left. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and 10. Short over the middle. Close to nine yard pickup there on the slant. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. 21-17, Colorado. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 45-yard line. to him before he could get back to the line. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. Colorado is up four. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Fourth down. Kinney is waiting for the snap. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Both teams are kind of struggling to take control of this game. Obviously, they're both very, very competitive with one another. It just seems that the lead is going back and forth between the two teams. 
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Nice run up the middle. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Tackle made at the 35. Here he goes. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle at about the 49. That's a gain of eight on the play. First down. Let's go. Hey, we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Right there. From their own 49 yard line. Second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. They're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. From the 29-yard line, first down. Less than three minutes in the game. Makes it to the 17. Carries the ball for a nice game. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. That makes it six and six. Let's go, let's go. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 18. After a decent pickup, about five yards in the quarterback keeper. Makes it out to maybe the 13 yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's knocked out of bounds at about the three-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That makes it 13th play of the drive coming up. Touchdown, and they take the lead. And he adds the extra point. Ready to kick. Nixon from the eight. Gets to about the 27-yard line. The Buffaloes have sort of set up the defense with this wide receiver doing most of the damage. Do they go away from him or do they do something different? Well, I think one of two things here for this offense. You either find a way to get your star receiver the football or in some cases you want to use him as a decoy, maybe take two or three defenders with him and then open it up for somebody else to be able to make a play. Passes it to the middle of the field. That's a great tackle at the 29-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He goes downtown. 
This one is batted away. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. Now he tries to buy some time. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over a minute left. On the ground and he won't get back to the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. They'll bring him down at the 30. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. Colorado is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Going for it all to the end zone. Intercepted. Big interception by this defense, and now they hand it over to their offense with a chance to seize the momentum of this game. From their own 20-yard line, first down. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's out to the 30. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. to being intercepted. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. Under a minute left. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. He's taken down at the 48. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Colorado will take their final timeout. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. So this one goes final. A hard-fought close game. 24-21, Cornhusker. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.